Welcome to Analytics with Nax. This video is all about Power BI certification and you will understand whether you need to go for Power BI certification or not at the end of this video. So the Power BI certification is DA100 and it is for analyzing data with Microsoft Power BI. In this video, I'm going to walk you through like uh, who needs uh, Power BI certification and what are the different facts uh, that is when you want to attend a Power BI certification, what are the different topics or how it will be like. These are two important things along with that um, why you need it. Let's check it out in this video. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button to get updates with Power BI and anything related to data and analytics. Let's check it out. Reasons you need to take for certification. Basically, you need to demonstrate your knowledge and skills to employers and colleagues. That is the reason you want to go for certification. And when you want to get hired, then your certification is uh, important. That is the um, official documentation says from the Microsoft, but let us see whether it's real or not in my next slides. Even you are to get recognized and when you want to get rewarded and promoted, like recognized and rewarded most of it's similar, but when you want to recognize means you when you are having a two to three people team and you are certified and someone else is not certified, you will be recognized sooner and your um, the productivity will improve. That is what um, it is the fact. But if you are really doing a certification and rewarded and promoted in some organizations, when people complete some certification, they will get rewarded and based on the certification they will get promoted and another important thing is like certification benefits the business so business believes like whoever gets certified they are qualified and they can improve the businesses so mostly these are the main reasons one should go for uh, certification or the organization encourage people to get certified with respect, this applicable to any certification, not only specific to uh, Power BI, and these are the reasons, general reasons. And with respect to Microsoft certification, like uh, what are the different facts about it? You need to understand it is not easy, right? Whatever you you, you know Power BI, you know Power BI Desktop, uh, Power Query, and uh, you know modeling, then Power BI Service. When you know the basic things, when you attend Power BI certification, you cannot pass. Not even uh, Power BI. You take any SQL or any other um, courses, you cannot pass because it is little tricky. Tricky in the sense you have a question and you have uh, answers. Uh, say for example, in case of Power BI, whether you create a column in Power Query or DAX and you need to get it done very quickly. So both answers is suitable. You know right you can create a column in Power Query as well as DAX, but which is faster. So you need to choose best option. So these kind of questions will be there. So it is very tricky unless you have a very in-depth knowledge of uh, any particular technology in case of Power BI, you cannot pass it. So this is what I said tricky. Then some topics are not familiar, never used in day to day work. So you've been working in Power BI for two to three years, but you may not aware of some topics like uh, synonyms or in tenant configuration, some other topics, right? You never used, but those topics also will be covered, right? So in that cases, you will not score maximum. So requires a lot of preparation. Uh, so if you want to really pass like uh, in the exam, you need at least uh, one or two years aggressively working on the technologies to understand it. So only if you have more experience, then you can pass in that exam. Finally, like many of them rose. This is the fact, uh, um, whoever 
want to create a certification once they attend they will feel like they are not clearing the exam so they will go for dumps or question banks so basically like it will have a lot of websites they will provide the whatever questions they will ask in the exam they will dump it and they will ask you the money so whoever in the industry are recruiters they also aware like people who are passing the certification they pass using the terms or question banks so these things you need to keep it in mind so this is the facts about microsoft certification so all the points i mentioned about these four points specific to how you prepare how you clear but this is the general idea about uh, microsoft certification like when you are passing that most of them i'm not saying everyone there are 80 to 90 percentage of people who pass exams using dumps and 10 percentage really they work hard to clear these exams okay having said these facts and what why you need to take certification who can take certification so working professionals who have a good knowledge on that technologies that especially in power bi you can go ahead and take it that will definitely will uh, improve your uh, career growth then working professionals who want to shift in domain right they want to shift in domain then they need to practice this aggressively because whatever two years experience people you have just knowing the technology when you learn in some youtube or some um, kind of pdf or documentation blogs you cannot clear it you need to work so much hard to clear it because they are practically working but you are not working you want to shift into power bi or any other domain you do not have practical experience then you need to practice a lot before attending this exam but you need to take this exam to get a good career growth within the company right because why i'm saying this because you are part of this company but you are trying to prove yourself in that technology to get the uh, job in i mean work or any uh, new domain right you are working in uh, it support then you want to shift so then you're doing a certification but you want to do it in same company then it's really good for you any employees like company sponsors for certification so whether you fail or not uh, if the company is allowing you the money i hope a lot of companies uh, sponsor for their certification and there are some checks like only if you pass they will compensate otherwise you will not uh, get uh, compensated for your certification cost who can avoid basically a freshers so this is what the point for taking this video a lot of freshers i can see like uh, spending their uh, money to get certified because getting certification will lead you to the job as i said before what are the different reasons uh, the facts about certification everyone aware it is tricky it is difficult you cannot uh, get it cleared easily and most of them use dumps so if you are clearing people doubt like you are cleared but if you are very well versed in the technology you want to prove it just go ahead but using the dumps if you want to clear then you want to get into job avoid people know that you use dumps again this class is very uh, discussion class like working professional looking for a new job outside organization that is what i'm saying like you do not have any experience because now you were in uh, power bi profession and you are looking for a new job then you can go ahead and do it but this class i'm saying about you do not have any power bi experience you worked in dot net or some other thing and you are looking for um, job change outside the organization then you are giving a certification then what happens two cases happens here that is shifting domain or change okay uh, within a company you can take but if you are doing going for a new job outside then you should not take because there is 50 50 opportunity like for shortlisting your profile the certification will helpful but what happens when you are certified then the questions will be very difficult right you you are saying like i know this technology very well i proved this technology uh, i can work any kind of difficult task that is what you are certified when you people start asking the questions the level of questions will increase as you are certified they will not ask you a simple question 
So this part you need to be ensured. So I would recommend not to take certification if you are, want to shift to a new job that is in i mean you are not working in the power bi in the past but you are looking for new job in the power bi and outside the organization you should not take okay let's uh, check uh, the power bi certification here so it's a da100 you can see here once you put and i can show you what is the trend in the google like when you put uh, google.com here if you put da100 what happens here you can see dumps questions dumps free free so everyone aware like you can pass the exams by uh, dumps only so that is what i am trying to make it here so uh, what about the certification it's still considering all these points whatever i said you still want to go just go for it this is the place you can go docs.microsoft.com it cost 165 dollars united states if you are from india as my most of the users are from there and 4800 inr it is uh, cheaper than um, uh, other countries i mean um, and it includes some tax at the end maybe it comes around 5600 you can schedule with the uh, psn view then you can go ahead and do it what are the skills measured you can see here you can download it from here then you can attend it all the best for your exams consider all my points whatever i mentioned this is the truth this is the industry requirement thanks for watching if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification do remember that data is your asset